Wow, damning new claims from Prince Harry. Explosive claims, many about his own family. Killed 25 Taliban. During... Royals are normally seen, but rarely heard. Prince Harry is everywhere right now, speaking loud and clear, but now facing a backlash. The Duke is being heavily criticized for writing about his time as a helicopter pilot in Afghanistan, seen here in 2012. In his autobiography, Harry says he killed 25 Taliban fighters and that he saw them as chess pieces taken off the board. Those remarks are seen by some as ill-judged, that they could make him a target and are unbefitting someone who has emphasised his former military service. Some things, even though it's what's happened in his life, should have been just kept between him and his family or him and his comrades out there. Uh, we didn't need to know certain things like how many people he's killed and so on. Or him and William fighting, that's none of our business. So. Yeah, I, I get what he's saying um, and what he's doing, but some bits he could have kept to himself. And even the Taliban have criticised the prince. A senior aide to the interior minister said, Mr Harry, the ones you killed were not chess pieces, they were humans. The Duke will not like this focus ahead of the official publication next week, with copies going on sale early in Spain, preempting a series of interviews airing this weekend. There's a fair amount of drugs, marijuana, mm -hmm. magic mushrooms. Cocaine, I mean, that's going to surprise people. But important to acknowledge. That would be Harry's response to all this. What other royal sits down to talk about a no-holds-barred book, a freedom only allowed outside the institution? How would your mom feel about your relationship with your brother now? I think she would be... I think she would be sad. The Queen was seen but never interrogated. Sit-downs with Charles and Diana amidst their divorce and Prince Andrew's BBC interview about Jeffrey Epstein mean the Windsors prefer to shun such scrutiny. But while Buckingham and Kensington Palace remain silent, is the pressure growing, with Prince Harry claiming his brother attacked him back in 2019. I talk about the red mist that I had for so many years and I saw this red mist in him. He wanted me to, to, to hit him back, but I chose not to. Harry may be publicly airing his early transgressions, but his stories go to the heart of the monarchy, with claims about the heir to the throne and allegations the Queen Consort leaked stories to the press. The monarchy will take comfort from the fact public polling still sides with them over the prince. But the longer they remain silent, he may just grow louder.